today is the first. And I have to take my baby to the doctor for his eight week appointment and to get his shots. And I'm so nervous that he's gonna be feeling so horrible today. I just wanna to vlog to remember today, but I just, I'm nervous. I'm letting him sleep. I'm already up and dressed. I'm gonna let him sleep before I put on his clothes because it takes us like 15 minutes to drive to a doctor. Um, and he has to be there at 8 o'clock. So it's like 7 o'clock now. Yeah, 6.55. I just got up early enough to make sure I was together. I put his bag together last night. Made sure his backpack, diaper bag and stuff was together. I have his clothes laid out. I'm going to fix him a bottle before I wake him up. Um, so that I can have everything in order. But I'm so nervous. I'm still doing my Optavia. It's day four. Um, you're not supposed to weigh in every day, but I was weighing in this morning. Now I can't remember what it said. I think it said 314. I'm pretty sure it said 314 this morning. So that is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 8 pounds, 8.8 .8 pounds in four days and a lot of that's water weight um because you go to drink i drink 80 ounces you can drink the minimum of 64 maximum 100 but i do 80 because i drink in 20 20 ounce glasses but anyways this is a really big difference so you'll start to see like my face um slim up first um and then everything else but i'm just really excited for this journey billy cooked steak last night steak and hot dogs i don't know but he was on the grill he was like you want to stay i mean i was like uh no I already ate don't want it i've been really proud of myself to be able to say that because that's not me okay i've been really proud of myself and then we were talking about jay-z's because that's where we like to go to eat and i was like well i can't go there and i was like well you know what i'll go there once every two to three months maybe maybe but at the same time i don't want to reward myself with food because that's what i'm trying to overcome as a food addiction you know if it makes sense it would be like a crackhead trying to <laughs> y'all can't really see him he's laying right here that would be like a crackhead trying to recover and be clean from crack and then be like oh if I'm clean for two months I'm gonna reward myself with a nice piece of crack so yeah I think he might be waking up change his diaper and stuff no he's not yeah we switched him well I switched him to soy milk Yes, Tuesday. He's been like throwing up a hella bad. I don't know if I said this in my last um, a vlog, but he's been throwing up like really, really bad to the point to where it was coming out his nose and it was like choking him and he lost his breath. And I was, every time it would come time for me to feed him, like I was so damn nervous. Like it gave me anxiety to feed him, to burp him. Like as soon as I would pick him up and I was burping like every ounce. But as soon as I would pick him up to like burp him, it would just come out. It would just come out. And I reached out to his pediatrician um, last weekend. And he was basically like, you know, a text. And he was basically like, if he don't have a fever, if he's breathing fine, if he has wet diapers, you know, all that, then don't worry about getting him checked out. But it was just something in my mind that was like, there's something wrong. Like... This can't be normal for a baby. Like, I understand spit up is normal, but I was like, bro, this cannot be normal. So, um, like, researching and going through stuff. And mind you, I was really scared to give him cereal. So, somebody's probably going to be like, give him some cereal. And I understand if that's what you did. But I think, like, people forget we're first-time moms. Sometimes we're really nervous. I know I am. To do anything outside of what my pediatrician says. 
like I said, for this issue right here. Um, but I really didn't want to give him cereal because I know that their stomach, their digestive system isn't like uh, built up to where it needs to be just yet. So I'm trying to wait it out on the cereal before I start giving them cereal. Um, but anyways, I switched over to soy. So he was on the Infamil Gentle Ease, the purple can. And so I started like researching and stuff. Cereal came up. A lot of people told me to give them cereal. Um, and then I realized that they had a soy base. Because uh, when I went to Walmart, I seen plant based. That's what made me stop and read it. But anyways, I realized they had a soy base. So I started like researching um, like the soy base for acid reflex or whatever because i don't i don't know what the hell is going on mind you we do probiotics every day i do gas drops to help settle the stomach i was burping between ounces he was eating sitting straight up with the bottle like straight out and not lean back everything that i could think of but anyways i went and i got a soy they only had one soy formula in the whole store and it was a gerber good start gentle soy and i know that gerber good start the other cans were on recall so i was kind of nervous but i went i was on my phone looking up everything make sure this wasn't it um so anyways we uh i picked up the gentle soy and i gave it to him the first day and i swear to you with that first bottle i was so nervous like to pick him up and burp him he didn't throw up he did he threw up like an hour after that bottle but it was like curdy maybe in 30 minutes to an hour it had like uh, chunks in it so i knew that it had to be old um from the bottle the previous bottle mind you he still threw up on those on regular milk like two hours after so i was like it's got to be the um regular bottle so i continued with the soy the first night was amazing like there he wasn't like screaming and hollering or none of that um he was the next day like he was sleeping he was back on his nap times um he didn't need me to like hold him or like walk with him and stuff like that so i continued him on soy so this will be and i want to talk to the doctors today sir so this will be his i'll say second day it's third day but like second full day that he's been on soy and i want to say he's probably spit up or spat up or whatever you say twice twice and it was just a little like what i would see to be normal okay it was just a little so if you're watching this and you're like a first time mama and this is happening with your baby and they won't listen to you just try to switch to a soy base it may work for you it may not work for you i'm gonna pray that it does work for you because that's really scary like what i was dealing with with him throwing up like in his sleep and all that stuff it was hella scary for me but anyways 703 i gotta get him up and put him on some clothes but um, it, it it really has been working. And when I go to the doctor today, I'm gonna mention it to him again, and I'm probably gonna talk to him about like a, a acid reflux uh, medication. Maybe I don't know because the soy has been so helpful, and I know people say that it co it could possibly constipate them. He did have with his first soy day, which was yesterday, he had more shitty diapers. Then he's had with reg with his regular infamil milk. Um, I think he had three shitty diapers yesterday. He usually has one big blowout. And it's like, I know this TMI. And it's like a forest green, okay? But not yesterday. Yesterday, it was lightening up. And that was the first time since he'd been home that I seen that his poop was a different color than that damn military green. Or whatever gr color green it is. Um, so, I'll just keep an eye on him, though, and see... How it does with him digesting and um, pooping it out. Let me get him ready so we can get out of here in about 25 minutes. All right, y'all. Heavy, heavy. You won't get up. You won't wake up. <laughs> won't wake up. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> You trying to figure out where you at with all this space? Hey. Yeah, he's such a happy baby. I'm gonna put on some clothes and go to the doctor. You don't see how he just wakes up out of his sleep and he's like, okay, there's my mama. 
Maybe not for long. Let me get him dressed. So I want to say that I'm not able to record in here. Um, they have signs everywhere. No pictures, no videoing. So I'm not able to record in here. I wish that I was. Um, so that I could cry again probably. Um, but it is 722. It takes us 15 minutes to get there. But I'm going to run by the bank. I forget his wipes. No, I didn't. I need wipes. I'm gonna run by the bank um, and make a deposit. We're still in my driveway. If you're wondering, why is she looking off the road? Because the girl, we're literally, literally still in my driveway. He's back there talking to. He's not talking to it anymore, but he was back there talking. But there he is. He's back there talking to Mr. Elephant. <laughs> he loves that thing. I don't even remember who sent it. Or I sent him a video. He's like, look how much he loves his gift. He loves it. I feel like this car needs some detail. I'm oh, wiping it down with a baby wipe. Get a little crust on me. Alright y'all, let me get off here so that I can drive, um, and I'll see y'all when we get through and tell y'all my experience. <laughs> Look who I had to get out! The baby that cries all the time! <laughs> he cries, he, I don't know, I think it's because he's closer to, um, uh, getting ready to eat, because usually he's pretty happy in the morning, so I think it's just because he's closer to getting ready to eat is the reason that he started fussing, but we're in the parking lot. Get these little cry boogers off your eyelashes. Um, yeah, we're in the parking lot and we have 12 minutes before they open the door. So, just gonna eat. <laughs> he's, I thought there was something on my shirt. That's my necklace. So, he's just gonna eat. Y'all switch from Dr. Brown bottles to these. Uh, can you turn this down? I switched from Dr. Brown bottles. Well, I still use Dr. Brown, um, but I won't for much longer because I think now that his stomach's settled with the soy, I think that he wants six ounces because, you know, his stomach don't ache anymore. And I really think he wants six ounces. So um, I bought the Boone bottles that I found at Walmart and then I ordered another pack. They'll be here Thursday. Uh, not Thursday. Alex says Thursday. They'll be here I think Saturday. And I ordered size one nipples. I shouldn't even have the damn size one nipples because I was thinking like, oh, maybe he's throwing up because he's um like drinking too fast or something like that. But no, whole time it was just soy. He needed some soy. Um, but these collapsed, like the inside. I don't know if you can see the insert. They collapse so that he doesn't get all the extra air. So it's supposed to be really good with gas and stuff like that. Um, which is why I went with Dr. Brown bottles in the first place. Um, these just have less to clean. Like this right here, the outer shell doesn't even have to be sanitized. Um, these come out, these little inserts come out. And they're really easy to carry with you. Like when you're going out and stuff too. You don't have to have like all those bottles taken up all the room. You just literally take you enough inserts and nipples. Um, I feel like I need a... I feel like right here he's peeling and I think it would be considered cradle cap, right? I don't know. I think it would be considered cradle cap. Um, it's so funny because there's a dad next to me. Um, and as I was pulling up, he was having to get his baby out the back seat too. Oh, he's feeding his baby too. <laughs> But we had the same mind frame. We had to get y'all fed before we go up in here. Y'all good acting a fool. I didn't even realize he was feeding his baby. I just seen him get him out. So we'll go in here, y'all. And then y'all see me whenever I come out. I have to vlog again so that y'all can see what I weigh on Monday. Um, when I weigh in. Like I say, I'm doing this to just be able to have a life with my son. You know? Like... When you go to the zoo or the mall or wherever and they have those little trains and you see kids and their moms and stuff riding they're like my fat ass can't fit on that so get skinny like don't let don't 
to me, I'm just saying, like, don't let your child miss out on things because you're a fat ass. And I ain't talking to y'all. I'm talking to myself. Um, and it doesn't hurt my feelings. Like, it just actually motivates me. Um, but don't have him missing out on things because I, I chose to, you know, be overweight or whatever. Yeah. So, we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done this time. I started right before I got pregnant, and then when I got pregnant, I started up to be a, for the second time, but then when I got pregnant, um, they told me that I couldn't do it while I was pregnant, and I had to wait until six weeks after. Can we get a burp in? But anyways, we'll see y'all in a minute, because he likes to scream between burps. <laughs> He's 14 pounds. 14 pounds. 24 inches. You're a big burper. His head was 42. Let me cut this out before I get in trouble. So we're at home. He's asleep. Let me turn this down. Um, He was 14 pounds today. This was his eight week checkup. So on the May the 1st, he was 12 pounds, 23 and a half inches long, and his head was 41. So this appointment, he was 14 pounds, 24.5 inches long, and his head is 42 and a half. Um, the doctor said his head is fine. Um, last time it just looked like it had grew tremendously. I told you, told y'all it was because I let them write it down wrong on his first appointment. But he said it's kind of like filling out. He's just on the high end with his growth. But his head is like, his body and age is catching up with everything. He got his shots today. It was so sad because he was just screaming when he had to get his shots. But he instantly fell asleep. Like when I picked him up, he went to sleep. Straight to sleep in my arms. And then I went to uh, Kroger and I got him some... Um, I picked up his Tylenol from the pharmacy. So I have Tylenol just in case. But I kind of think he's possibly just possibly going to sleep through this. Uh, I'm using a baby spoon. If you use a baby spoon, it feels like you ate more. I'm doing my protein. Um, doing a boiled egg. Boiled egg. Um, I'm still doing Optavia. Did I say that today? I think I said that earlier. But anyways, I'm going to see how he does throughout the day. Oh, and they say I switched him to soy. Um, I can never remember what I said to y'all. But basically, he was just like, keep him on, um, Keep them on the soy, you know, don't switch it again for at least a week. You want to keep them on that formula to see if there's any problems or if things change or something like that. But he was basically like, if anything changes, call me, let me know, like we'll figure it out. But he's done really good. Like I said earlier, he's done really, really good on the soy formula. Uh, he did spit up when we was in the doctor's office, but he had just ate and it was just a, a little spit up. It was nothing to be. I know that baby's gonna spit up. Okay, okay. I don't know. I usually don't get um crazy comments over here on YouTube. It's usually just on TikTok where people try to tell you what to do. Like, ma'am, do you offer to come help or do you just sit there and nag at everything mothers do? Hmm. I thought so. But other than that, he's a healthy baby. We go back August. I think August of 29th for his next checkup. And I think he's had more shots. I guess so. I'm pretty sure he said more shots. But anyways, we'll see. I'll vlog some more throughout the day if anything changes. See how he acts for the day. But other than that, we did that. We did that. I gave him a little towel now because he was a little fussy and went out, um, took his clothes off to change his diaper, he started hollering. So I don't know if his legs was hurting. 
But I had the Tylenol, so I just gave him a little Tylenol, and he's just been chilling right here. Not saying nothing. Watching TV. I don't even know what we're watching. I think Unsolved Mysteries or Cops. <laughs> but other than that, oh, he's alright so far, and it's been about... About three hours since he had his shot. So... We'll see what today brings. Me and Kingston a nap. I took a nap. Well, he took a nap. We took a two-hour nap, and he's up again. He was fussy when he first got up. But I'm not fussy no more, Mama. Um, I gave him Tylenol when he got up because it had been six hours from the last time I gave him Tylenol. So I gave him Tylenol, changed his diaper, put him in more comfortable clothes than that um onesie he had on. He is so, he is so hot natured when it comes to like sleeping or like contact with somebody like it's horrible so I, I put him in one of his little comfy onesies and took the long sleeve off i put the long sleeve on him this morning and the, you know the the full onesie the pajama onesie i put that on this morning because i want to say the temperature was like 68 when we went to the doctor although i knew that the temperature would rise but i knew we would be home way before it got hot outside so yeah anyways i don't know why the fuck i just told y'all that but i did Oh, uh, Billy's home from work, and yeah, guess we'll wait it out. I think he's gonna be all right, though. I think he's gonna be all right. So he's laughing in his sleep. So it's the next day. Today's Friday. I just want to give you an update from his shot. He did amazing. Um, he pretty much slept it all. I gave him Tylenol. Cause they prescribed him Tylenol that I had to pick up from the pharmacy. So I gave him Tylenol every six hours just in case, because I don't know when he's in pain, you know what I'm saying? So like when he got out, I gave it to him and I gave it to him like one time this morning, but he seems fine. Like he's been happy. He's been awake. Oh, um, he's over there sleeping, but he keeps giggling. So he did really good with his shots. Um, we don't go back until august the end of august is when we get back but i just want to update y'all and close out the vlog to let y'all know my baby did fabulous he's all right and we'll see y'all what else do we have coming up i feel like there's something coming up that i need to do a video about nothing i don't know i'll figure it out we'll do something we'll do something we'll go somewhere we'll be somebody but anyways, thank y'all so much for everybody that watches and watches my videos all the way to the end. Like, I love y'all. Thank y'all. I'm about to get ready to go live with Cherie to sell t-shirts. So, I gotta hurry up and end this video and then put it up. Y'all know I don't really do no damn editing. editing. So, yeah. I'll see y'all next time.